Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful, soon to be 84 degree day here uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom on this absolutely gorgeous Friday morning. It is, I believe, February 4th, 2022. I hear it's the same temperature in Austin, Texas, as it is Ithaca, New York. It's like 19, 20 degrees in Austin and Ithaca. Heading to 84 here. But anyway, uh, the little dog and I, we are, looks like we're buying a, uh, I'm thrilled to say not a piece of swamp land. We're buying some land in Woodpecker Ridge to uh, do some planted eating uh, here. So I've got to get off and out of here and meet a realtor. But before I go, and do my uh, landscape altering, doing my part for the global industrial economy since it is Friday morning before I head off to be a uh, real estate developer. Uh, do what I do every Friday and that's check in with mongabay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls. And I'm hoping my wind guard, it's unbelievable. It, it, there's been no wind. I sit down in this chair and that's what brings the wind up. But I've tried to put a wind guard, so bear with me. So little dog, I'm gonna let you go. Get some squirrelies, take a shot of water. And uh, good Lord, I hope this microphone is somewhat protected from the wind. So let's see what uh, Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay, we're gonna start out all right, uh, with the Standing Rock, right here in our own country, Standing Rock withdrawals from ongoing environmental assessment of Dakota Access Pipeline. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe has withdrawn as a cooperating agency with the U.S. federal government's ongoing environmental assessment of the Dakota Access Pipeline. Yes citing lack of transparency by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the pipeline's operators, energy transfer, I bet. So the, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe is no longer a cooperating agency. The leaders have raised concerns about the oil spill emergency response plans. You think so? All right. Imagine uh, that. Okay. All right. Now I will try to be getting my hopium done tomorrow, but don't worry. Uh, as the world drowns in plastic waste, the United Nations. All right. It's going to hammer out a global treaty. There you go. After years of neglecting the buildup of plastic waste in Earth's environment, the United Nations Environment Assembly will meet in the, in the, in the hopes of drafting the first international treaty controlling plastic pollution. All right, the United Nations, dollar short in the daylight, is going to save the planet from plastic pollution. Yes, here is another uh, animal you have never heard of disappearing off the face of the planet. This would be the coconut crab, despite being widespread across the Pacific and Indian Oceans coconut crabs are disappearing across their range according to a new assessment that warns the crabs are vulnerable to extinction. Wow, let's take a wild guess what is threatening the crabs. How about habitat destruction, coastal development, agriculture, and harvesting for the seafood trade? And don't forget uh, sea level rise, which is just all of these crabs are going to be underwater in a few years. 
you can kiss goodbye the coconut crab probably the coconuts that they're eating all right we have an interview I never interviewed this guy I always meant to but that I'm gonna listen to this one this is ethnobotanist Mark Plotkin all right Rhett himself uh, interviewing Mark Plotkin one of the world's most prominent rainforest ethnobotanists and conservationists there you go I need to find time to listen to that it marks a good guy so uh, <clears throat> haven't checked in with Mark in years <clears throat> try to go over to Manga Bay and listen to that interview <clears throat> uh, here is a start a story about uh, <clears throat> magnolia trees I have a magnolia tree there you go uh, currently only 60 magnolia canadiana trees are known in the wild and for magnolia doxoni there are six of those left this is down there in Ecuador good lord six you can kiss those goodbye. Um, Alright. Uh, I got a, There's a lot here, and I have got. Uh, I, I don't really have time to even be doing this. Uh, okay, what's going on with the illegal tiger trade right here in the U.S.? New study highlights hidden scale of U.S. illegal tiger trade. A new study highlights the previously underestimated role of the U.S. in the illegal tiger trade. According to newly compiled data, tiger trafficking in the U.S. from 2003 to 2012 corresponded to almost half of the global tiger trade reported for that period. Uh, gee, how about a tr trade route from China through Vietnam? Uh, <clears throat> in, in anyway, I think anyone who has uh, watched the Tiger King uh, can get some idea about the cast of character. I mean, everybody in that cast of characters, every every everybody in the you know this tiger uh, and big cat trade uh, they're all scumbags you know I mean what a cast of I mean every one of them on all sides are, are just truly reprehensible human beings uh, okay <coughs> yes have we reached peak palm oil yes uh, I think we all know the answer to the question have we reached peak palm oil moving on uh, you will not believe that Vietnam's timber legality program is not making a dent in risky wood imports Despite new regulations to clean up Vietnam's timber sector, importers continue to bring large volumes of tropical hardwood into the country from deforestation hotspots in Asia and Africa for use in products. Uh, yes, in 2018, Vietnam signed a voluntary a voluntary partnership agreement with the EU to eliminate illegal timber from the country's supply chains. Uh, imagine that. Anyway, huh. Never would have thought of this. See, this is why I depend on Rhett Butler to be my point man from the from all corners of the globe did you realize that safe havens for coral reefs 
will disappear as oceans warm. A new study has found that coral reef refugia, places that have historically protected coral reefs from thermal stress, will decline substantially when, not if, when global heating reaches one and a half degrees C at two degrees, most coral reef refugia will disappear. Yep, most likely leading to large scale loss of coral reefs that will threaten both marine biodiversity and food security. Efforts to help corals adapt to rising temperatures may be futile. Do you think so? Uh, every time I read one of these hopium articles about uh, kiss goodbye the coral reefs, can we all pull our head out of our hopium soaked asses? The coral reefs are gone. The rainforests are gone. The two most biodiverse uh, biomes on the planet, coral reefs and tropical rainforest are gone. Does anybody not understand that both of these, that the two most important biologically rich biomes on the planet have gone beyond their tipping point? There is not a goddamn thing we're going to do to save them, okay? I, I hate to be so brutally honest. Anyway, all right, the tech revolution holds a world of promise for conservation. There you go. But challenges persist. Yes, uh, technology to save the planet is now at a critical juncture where cutting edge tools to save the planet are available, but aren't necessarily as accessible or affordable as they need to be. Hmm. All right. What next? <clears throat> Looking at links between terrorism and the ivory trade. Yes. Uh, anyway, guys. Uh, okay. We can breathe a big sigh of re relief for the critically endangered Cambodian Southern River Terrapin. 51. 51 baby turtles have been born. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Uh, okay. Indonesia and Malaysia agree to hold joint patrols against illegal fishing. Okay. You, uh, you go. I can't imagine any uh, opportunity for graft and bribery there. <clears throat> okay, we have a podcast, Carbon Cowboys and Illegal Logging. Papua New Guinea has been the world's largest tropical timber exporter since 2014. More than 70% of the timber produced in the country is considered illegal. I'm not going to go off into that rat again. I think I've drilled it into the ground. Makes no difference what is legal or illegal. Uh, yes. Uh, all right. Uh, guys, there's a lot of stuff here. But, uh, oh Jesus, I really do have to, uh, let, let's hit the high spots. Uh, here we go. I, I, I love, we have hopium on one side of a sentence and reality on the other. How, how about this one? Uh, I'm, at, I'm sure this is according to the Indonesian government. Indonesia is on track 
with its peatland restoration. Yes, but bogged down with mangroves. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Indonesia on track with, uh, re yeah, with restoring its peatlands, please. <clears throat> Rhett Butler doesn't believe for one second that Indonesia, uh, you know, uh, parroting this greenwashing crap. Come on, Rhett. All right. <clears throat> Over in Malaysia, uh, yes, Malaysian officials deny that deforestation drives deadly human-wildlife conflict. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. The Year of the Tiger began on February 1st. You know, in that Chinese astrology, as the year of the tiger begins on February 1st, a coalition, yes, is committing to a cooperative approach to save the iconic endangered big cat. Yes. Anyway. <clears throat> You will not believe that displaced and deprived indigenous communities suffer from hunger in Nicaragua. There you go. Uh, all right, full steam ahead for the Tren Maya project. Yes, <clears throat> the Mexican government is building a multi-billion dollar tourist train that will run almost 1,000 miles across the Yucatan Peninsula. Yes, <clears throat> the government says the project will bolster the rural economy in southern Mexico by creating jobs. Yes, unfortunately, the construction threatens to destroy one of the most biodiverse areas left in the country, home to a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and will lead to the relocation of many indigenous communities. So far, 25 lawsuits have been lodged against uh, this railroad project ramming across what's left of the rainforest of the Yucatan. They just can't leave it uh, alone. Uh, here's another story about tigers in the year of about how screwed tigers are. Uh, okay. As we're wondering whether we have hit peak palm oil, raid against Sumatran officials uncovers use of slave labor on palm oil farm. Yes, a district head in Sumatra could face human trafficking charges after he was found to have imprisoned 48 men at his compound who worked for no pay at his oil palm plantation. He also faces charge of corruption and illegal wildlife possession, talking about selling orangutans. Good Lord. Uh, <clears throat> watchdog groups say the problem, you know, basically of slavery is widespread. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, guys, I've got uh, I've got to be out of here in like ten minutes. One more. What went wrong with conservation at Kahuzi Biega National Park in the Democratic Republic of the Congo? I guess the question was what went right with it. What went wrong? Yes. The coercive conservation paradigm 
prevents local communities from accessing their lands. Uh, so this is uh, one more, uh, you, you know, uh, talk about should uh, conservation land being a human exclusion zone. So what is, so this was created in 1975. What does Kahuzi Biega National Park in the DRC look like today? <clears throat> it is now overrun by refugees, militias, and mining while eco-guards burn villages and kill indigenous people. Yes, uh, good lord. Can you imagine the, uh, the collapse of global industrial civilization in a sub-Saharan African National Park? Good Lord. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm not in sub-Saharan Africa. I am in the oasis of freedom, and I have a realtor waiting for me to sign a contract. So I'm going to have to wrap up the doom and gloom. Uh, I will try to get a hopium roundup out tomorrow. Get out there and uh, do whatever you do to be part of the system while you still can. Bye, guys.